So a huge shout out to Leo DeMarco who left this comment on my previous video where I kind of defended or I kind of shouted out Shrouded Fable as a set because I actually think it's a pretty solid set. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. It's definitely player focused, but for collectors too, I don't think it's absolutely bad. I don't think it's a outright Champions Path 2.0. I think there's actually cards worth chasing. And if you guys haven't seen that video, it is available on my channel. But Leo DeMarco out here told me, because in that video, I featured a South American content creator. I believe he was from South America and he was opening up an ETB. And I, I always know that somehow in South America, they somehow get early products here and there. Uh, because if you guys remember the Charizard UPC, you had that one guy from South America, I think Brazil is where he was from, where he had like cases upon cases of Charizard UPCs like a month before release. And I don't know what exactly happens in that process. And it's too hard to question because it's outside the United States. But I know that in foreign countries somehow, massive quantities of items end up in somebody's hand and they usually just say my distributor gave it to me early which i don't know if there's a distributor that would be backdooring that stuff a month early for a product that was anticipated and hot but leo demarco said there's a video on here of an english speaking couple uh couple opening a whole bunch of shroud of fable etbs but they're deleting comments that say anything about it being delayed or at least his was so i wanted to look into this so i went ahead and searched up Shroud of Fable Elite Trainer Box openings. And there was two that was open. This one right here with no audio track with a channel that literally has like 94 subscribers. And then there was another one here with a couple that uh, decided to open it up. This video is known as Pokemon Pharmacy. Now, the first things first I want to point out is right now as of recording, it is July 29th. The ETBs are slated to be released on august 23rd so almost a month away almost four weeks away unless they pick these up locally and we'll get to what they said about these unless they picked them up locally unless they walked into a card shop that somehow had these on display and bought a whole case they obtained them from somewhere online they obtained them from somebody that shipped them to them so that means that these products had to be shipped out a little over a month in advance to somebody for them to get them I don't think Pokemon would make that mistake when the reasoning for the delay was manufacturing problems. There was items in the ETB that were delayed and being produced to prevent the ETBs from releasing on launch date. So to me, in order to get this case, they're probably barely being packed up and sent out, uh, sent out to distributors now. So in a lot of ways, this is probably a case of where this box ended up in some wrong hands somewhere along the line and now they ended up with this box because their reasoning and i'm going to prove why i don't believe what they're saying they said that these are circulating where they live and we'll get to all that in just a minute but it is very fishy when anybody ends up with pokemon product weeks before street dates now you could say maybe this was one of small batch that was planned to be shipped out but considering that most distributors do not even have the elite trainer box in their warehouses yet i would say that's not true but who am I to say I have three distributor accounts and not a single one of them have even received their ETBs. But you know what, internet user, if you don't agree with me, you can let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's look at their opening and some of the comments below. Now I did pause. I don't want to share any of this video because we know that Nintendo and Pokemon don't like to play games with stuff like this sometimes. And I never want to risk my channel, but I will share it on this screenshot of the two fractures because fracture is my favorite card in the set. So I had to pause here just because I love the duplicity of the reverse fracture with the new reverse foiling, by the way, which looks amazing. And then the fracture illustration rare side by side. I just love that. Something about it just brings me some love. But you see here, most of the comments are, how do you get the ETB when they're delayed? I thought the ETBs were delayed. I thought the ETBs were delayed. And that's going to be most of these comments. But I did look up the comment from Leo, could not find it here. And if you scroll down to like comments that are a little bit older, you end up with like nothing about them being delayed. A lot uh, There's random comments that have, uh, I thought they were delayed, but there's not a lot of comments for it. So maybe it is true that they are deleting comments. I at least don't see Leo's comment, but I don't know entirely if that's true or not. So it's hard to say. They did respond to one person. How did you get these? I thought TPCI said they were delayed. Um, somebody defended them by saying, dude's a baller, work hard, play hard. That's a dumbass comment. 
Sorry, Holen, Dan Sock, whatever the hell your name is. You're a dumbass. But some product was released early, including those Kingdra and Greninja boxes that's already circulating in their local area. So he's not saying the ETBs are circulating in their local area. He's saying the Kingdra and Greninja boxes are. Kingdra and Greninja boxes release in four days as of the time they're uploading this video. Odds are there are bigger shops that have already received their Shroud of Fable stuff for next week, and they just broke street date. That's wrong in and of itself. No shop should be breaking street date. It has an official partnership with Pokemon. And anytime you sign up with an agreement with a distributor, you have an official agreement with Pokemon that you abide by their rules. And the street date for the product is their rules unless it's otherwise stated. And I don't think subsets ever get uh, permission to be sold early unless Pokemon explicitly sends an email to distributors. I know like main sets, you can sell booster boxes like early, like the Monday of release week and stuff like that for like main sets. But subsets, I rarely ever see Pokemon say, hey, you can sell this product early. So if a, sh a shop is selling that before the Thursday of release, then they're most likely breaking street date. And I would say if your shop is doing that, if you don't want to report them, please don't say the shop by name because somebody could easily report them to pokemon for breaking street date and they could lose all ability to get pokemon at uh wholesale prices and you could completely hurt that shop so please be careful with that pokemon doesn't play with things like street date so do be careful but they do mention this and the second comment they put um because somebody said even rev didn't have the etbs to open that means pokemon didn't even send their official partners etbs yet hence why i don't think any distributors have these etbs in hand yet um but Rev doesn't even have the ETVs yet, and he's one of the big partners. He's one of the people that really works with Pokemon. And he goes, you're actually the first channel I've seen open the ETVs. But he goes, I've seen multiple channels opening Shroud of Fable packs. That brings me to um, this channel right here, the Sophia Mon. She's opened Shroud of Fable packs, but guess what she ended up opening? If we scroll down here, you have people opening the Greninja box and the three pack blisters, Sophia Mon as well. The Greninja box and the three pack blisters are the four pack uh, box of King Gambit. These are products that released in one week. They 100% got these products just by breaking street date. Somebody broke street date and sold it to them. That's all that is. I had a local shop when I did YouTube content back in 2017, 2018, that would give me product by breaking street date. I would get booster boxes of Ultra Prism uh, at pre-release week which is breaking street date. I shouldn't have a booster box that early. But he would uh, he would hook me up because he was a friend of mine. That's most likely what these cases are. But I would be hard pressed to say that ETBs are flowing anywhere in your area. And I would be hard pressed to say that these ETBs are sitting on shop shelves. The reason why I would say that is there would be a lot of evidence of ETBs being early. Because guess what? If there were plenty of ETBs out there, especially in the area where you reside, there would be more than two videos available for ETB openings. Three if you count the person who opened up ETBs from South America. But in North America, there's only two openings, KC Hobbies and Pokey Pharmacy. KC Hobbies opened up one. And if I had to make a prediction of where they might have gotten, uh, gotten this one, is there was one in hand from Otempo on eBay that sold. If you would think that if these were freely circulating in New York, that a lot of people would have bought them to scalp them, to put them on market, or maybe put the singles on market. But I go over here on eBay, right? And I'm looking up in hand ships now. And sure, you get a couple of promos and stuff, but nothing that says ships now. If I put Shout of Fable in hand, you got a lot of singles being sold, like somebody paying $100 from Innova Games for Pheasantipity EX. But these, considering Innova Games, it's actually a shop. This is most likely an instance of they open the product early to sell the singles at a markup, which is breaking policy, by the way. This is also breaking Pokemon policy. The single cards also abide by that street date. They abide by the August 2nd street date. So if you're selling these singles early just to get a markup price, then you will end up in trouble if somebody reported you. So just a heads up there, Nova Games. But you see here, the only person selling singles is the Nova Games, who most likely is selling these simply because they ripped open product they received early. That is most likely what ended up happening. There's very few sellers on here that is not in Nova Games. There's a couple here that have a couple random cards, like somebody has a Kingdra promo that they sold for $23 uh, to TCG plays. 
but you don't see any real ETBs that say ship now. Everything is ships 822. There was one ETB case that I want to say it was here. Ships 8-1 from Cataclysm, but most likely what happened was these were pre-orders that sold before the delay was revealed and they probably contacted anybody purchasing from them, letting them know that their their product was delayed. But I was looking at the only listing of ETBs that are in hand. They have four available, one sold. Unfortunately, with eBay, you cannot see when this purchase was made anymore, at least to my knowledge. I could probably go here and assume this is the legitimate sell that's at the top which was on July 29th, but that may not be the case. This may have been sold earlier, but this is the only ETB I know of that has been sold that is actually supposed to ship out. Um, and it is from Otempo, our collector's exclusive. Um, outside of that, everything else is pre-order. So there's not a massive amount of ETBs on the market. So this right here, everything they're saying is referring to the other products that release in a week, not the ETBs. So how they got the etbs they're not gonna say because here's the thing right when it comes to shrouded fable etb openings the thing about opening up something like an etb a month early is it's a cheat code for views right if you're trying to grow your pokemon content if you're trying to grow a pokemon business by using content if you can get products early it's kind of a cheat code for views Look at Dr. Applesauce and look at what Seismic Shock TV used to do. They used to try to get product as early as possible so they can get the most views from it. I know Seismic Shock, before he deleted his channel, had that whole Silver Tempest uh, uh, controversy. And I know he also got a lot of backlash for his celebrations. I want to say it was an ETB opening that was done way too early. But Celebration ETBs were popping up everywhere at the time. So I don't think he got as much backlash for that as he did with Silver Tempest. But I think this is the same kind of situation where they found somebody probably selling a case of ETBs early and they sniped at it because they knew they could make a banger video because look they're 2,000 subscribers right 7,000 views as of now if I was to go to their channel right Good catch. and let's look at some of their videos 522 views from a few days ago early opening case of temporal forces ETBs 12,000 views so it's like the only time they ever get really large numbers of views is when they open something early. They break street date. And considering that they've done it a few times and they open them a little bit too early, I would say they probably have, I guess what the cool kids say, a plug. Somebody who is able to obtain these. Um, I don't know if it's legal means or illegal means. I'm not going to assume anything or accuse anything. But they're obtaining them a little bit too early to be any official way of detaining them they didn't buy them from a shop they did not buy them from anywhere else now 100 percent if they did buy them from a shop i would love for them to provide an official receipt from that store i would love to know what store got etbs early and sold them early but just like with the uh the crown zenith stuff with the early crown zenith nobody's ever going to provide receipts with these things because they don't have them they bought them unofficially and they were probably attained in nefarious means but it's always a cheat code for good content, right? Because if you get something early and people are anticipating to see how pool rates look for that product or how what cards come in that product officially, uh, that's what people are going to be hunting for. That's what people are going to be looking for is that first video that pops up. And that's what ended up happening with Seismic Shock because nobody knew what the official sit list was for uh, Silver Tempest. So being able to see some of the cards that come in the sit confirms some stuff for some people and whether or not they actually wanted to open up that sit. The same with this. Opening up the Shroud of Fable ETBs. You want to see what a case of ETBs, what the pull rates look like. How many uh, SIRs do they pull? How many IRs do they pull? You also probably want to see well, what the full sit list is because they're going to open up the booklet and show you everything that's in the sit. So people are going to watch this video to get that information. But as you see many people are still curious on how you got those early because it makes no sense especially because if these were wildly circulating like you're claiming we would see more than one or two videos of these being open we would see absolutely see more videos of these being open but we don't see that many videos we see your video and one other person's video and the other person's video is from a super small channel that probably bought this sec uh, that one etb second hand you have a whole case so Everybody is going to question how you got those early considering that many shops I would argue that probably 99.9% .9 shops probably don't even have a distributor 
that has these in the warehouse yet. Or if they have them in the warehouse, they're barely receiving them and processing them. So that's what I'm looking at here. And that's the problem I have with a video like this is because we're seeing this almost every set release now. It's become a normalized tactic where somebody in the content creation space is going to overpay and buy either a stolen or a nefariously obtained product and open it up for content. And what this does is it creates a larger customer base because think of all the pack breakers that do it too. All these pack breakers that get these products extremely early, all these uh, different like content creators who get this product early. They're not obtaining it from official shops. They're not finding it early in Walmarts because if they did, there would be a damn TikTok or a damn video about them finding it on a Walmart shelf in the, since they're creating content. Most of these people are not doing that. Most of these people are obtaining this from somebody probably posting off of like uh, some random website or some social media platform and selling these things. So that's kind of my opinion on this. And the reason why I would caution these two from ever doing this sort of thing and to abide by official Pokemon rules is they open up an official Pokemon store. At least according to them, it's a Pokemon store in New York. I wanted to find out where they were located to see if they were North American in the United States or if they were like foreign because I've seen stuff arrive for every sit early in foreign nations such as France, such as Brazil. So if they were from somewhere else, then I would probably say, hey, maybe this box got snagged during shipment or something like that. But since they're in the US, we know that these products are officially delayed. They're still delayed for about four weeks. So distributors will be receiving them in the next week or two, and they'll start being processed to go out to stores. That means these distributors don't actually have these products yet. So a distributor backdooring this, very unlikely considering they already had it and they've already opened it. This is more likely a case that it was lost in transit as they were being packed in the Pokemon facility. But that's just hard speculation. There is no evidence to support that claim. This is just my speculation of how this box can do that. And it is my opinion on why this is bad and the potential possibilities of what has happened. But since they have an official Pokemon business, if they want to keep up a partnership with Pokemon and keep selling Pokemon products, they need to abide by Pokemon's rules. If they want an official distributorship and anything like that, they cannot be breaking rules for the sake of content like this. So Pokemon Pharmacy, my advice to you is stop. If you know something is not releasing for another month, do not make content about it. Because eventually with you having an official business, some salty Sally is gonna report you to Pokemon. And if you have an official distributorship and if you officially sell Pokemon in your store, and you do play events and stuff like that, you're possibly gonna lose that. If Pokemon sees you have a product a month in street date events, they will most likely hold you accountable for that and they will take things away from you. If you want a successful business, follow the rules. That's just my advice to you. But I know there's gonna be people who disagree with me. I know there's gonna be people that are gonna say like that one guy said, that dude's a baller, work hard, play hard. Remember, once again, I know there are dumbasses on the internet, so if you're one of them, feel free to comment and disagree with me. It helps the algorithm, so I don't care. But I think most of us in the community can agree that tactics like these are shitty. People grabbing stuff early for the sake of content is not good. And I think a lot of people need to realize that as long as content creators are not held accountable for snagging stuff early, and buying it from somebody who's probably hurting the hobby by stealing this stuff will be regular uh, this stuff will be regular just look at all the content from rattle and opossum opossum bud in the past couple of weeks about the amount of thieves that are entering this hobby the amount of break-ins that are happening the amount of robberies that are happening and the reason why people do this shit is because they know they can sell to people like pokemon pharmacy who doesn't care about obtaining things officially as long as they can make a buck off of their content, they'll buy from whatever shady artist is selling it. And that's what I hate about this kind of content is because most of this content is supporting the idea of thieves and scumbags in this hobby. And we see a lot of local shops and a lot of collectors and a lot of businesses hurt tremendously because of the amount of thieves in this hobby that have been prevalent 
since the start of COVID when this hobby really took off. But it's becoming way too common that we're seeing like 10 year old, 12 year old kids trying to steal hundreds upon hundreds of dollars of cards at card shows and getting caught on camera because of it. We're seeing people break into warehouses and stealing millions of dollars of Pokemon TCG product. And we're seeing people steal millions of dollars in graded slabs for sports cards. And it's just becoming very terrible. And as long as there's people that are willing to buy this stolen shit, people are gonna keep doing it. And we've gotta hold these content creators accountable. Quit making this stupid ass content. Be patient. Don't support this content. I know I gave them two views cause I opened it up on two separate tabs and let the video play for a bit, but quit supporting this content. Think about all the things that we do, right? As a hobby. We can't support the stuff that allows bad actors to continue on in this hobby. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it an end for this video. If you want to see the full opening, you can go check out their video. It is completely there. Uh, feel free to do so. I do want to point out that something I've noticed with these couple is they don't make content consistently. So I don't know how often they make content. But like you see here that they do a lot of it's not even out yet content. And that seems to be what they focus on. Um, even one of their videos, I didn't even point this out earlier. This isn't even out yet, literally on the thumbnail. Uh, so it's not necessarily good content in my opinion. It's just content that they're able to produce simply because they're getting it before other people. So with that being said, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Thank you all for watching. Remember to stay awesome.